Good morning, everybody. Just finished walking Lady Bird for the first time at least today. Uh, you know what time it is. I'm going to read uh, from the Living a Life of Awareness by Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. Daily Meditations on the Toltec Path. I hear the puppies in there whining. She's probably, uh, she was feeding them. She's uh, beginning to start weaning them. I tried giving them a little bit of some small bites of some dog food yesterday, and they were eating a little bit of it. So we're in that process now with the puppies. I really got to be thinking about uh, in the next week or two, I'm going to have to get a ride somewhere and have them with me to uh, and have a sign, you know, letting people know I got some puppies if they want them. <sighs> but I'm not worried. Uh, it's not stressing me out. It just is what it is. I think uh, after this, I will definitely need to get a ladybird fixed I, I've been planning to do that for <laughs> the whole time she's been around but I don't know if I don't we'll deal with what happens the next time hell it had been three years since the first uh, litter she had I had done pretty good about keeping her you know an eye on her when she went in heat I just have to do better next time Especially if she goes in the heat before I am able to get her fixed. Let's do this. Discerning the messages. And uh, I'm curious about this. I, I didn't read it yet. I just looked at the briefness of it. But uh, let's just get on with it. The fifth agreement. Oh, discerning the messages. The fifth agreement is be skeptical but learn to listen. Be skeptical because most of what you hear isn't true. You know that humans speak with symbols and that symbols aren't the truth. Symbols are only the truth because we agree, not because they are really truth. And that's from Don Miguel Ruiz and Don Jose Ruiz in The Fifth Agreement, which sometimes soon I'll be starting to read it for myself again but not until I get done with the mystical eyes so uh, it says society sends such loud messages about how we should dress act be and so on that we can get lost in the multitude of messages forgetting we have a choice with which if any we will agree when our attention gets hooked into the world, we often make the mistake of agreeing with the status quo without even realizing we have done so. This is one way in which practicing the fifth agreement, be skeptical but learn to listen, can be very helpful. Simply put, the fifth agreement can be translated as I'm willing to listen to the messages, but I reserve the ability to scrutinize what I'm hearing. That is my privilege. I will decide if any message I hear is ultimately true for me. And, uh, you know, I think I've mentioned this before. If you didn't see when I did, I can't remember when it was, but... You know, when I was first getting the four agreements and the companion book for the giveaway, I mentioned that there was a fifth agreement. And uh, I remember when I first discovered the four agreements, I was so just like, oh, man, this is cool. Because I'd read uh, several books by uh, Carlos Castaneda, uh, you know, and I think I've mentioned this before, too. There's huge debates on whether what he was writing was fiction or did he really go to Mexico and meet this guy that was a Toltec uh, sorcerer, they call him. I, I say he's a wizard, whatever, you know. Uh, but uh, the, the books, uh, those books are so, they're real detailed, long story, and there's many other books. And... Uh, 
just like with a lot of things, I've read those with a grain of salt, but I understood them and I understood where it was coming from. And uh, those books are not put out as nonfiction. I mean, as fiction, they're in the nonfiction areas. But like I said, I've heard that there's even debates and courses in colleges that there's huge discussions on you know from both sides some people have their reasons for why they think that Carlos Castaneda made all this stuff up and uh, then there's other people that say no it's he really went and all this stuff really happened there's a lot of stuff in the books that um, if you had not expanded your mind or had an open mind you might think it's just a bunch of crap but um, I've seen things in my life and my personal experiences that are truly stranger than fiction. And that's just, you know, I don't share a lot of those experiences because if I was to tell you some of the things I've seen, encountered, uh, you might label me insane. But uh, those are my experiences. And uh, I know them to be true, at least from my point of view in that time and space. Um. But what I'm getting at is when I discovered the four agreements in a library some a few years after reading some Carlos Castaneda, it broke down the what the Toltec wisdoms are and the secrets uh, much simpler. Now, of course, Mama Teresa uh, has won those books, and hopefully I've got them in a box. I haven't packaged it up yet, but I need to. I'm going to get the address on there and hopefully send it out in the next couple of days because I it's uh, I may be getting paid tomorrow uh, my payday kind of fluctuates from month to month uh, I have a card that gives it to me anywhere I get it from two to four or five days early sometimes just depending on when they get credited they automatically credit to me but that's neither here or there um, but yesterday I wanted to share with you that yesterday I walked uh, to town and I really in uh, that was the best way I could do to get away from the habit of every 15, 20, 30 minutes wanting to pick my tablet up and get back online and check my social media or watch about 15 million uh, YouTube videos. Um, I, I'm working towards breaking that habit. Um, so I'm trying to think about today what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to walk all the way to town today. I only have a few bucks uh, on my card and everything. I have a big container of some change, probably six, seven, eight dollars, but there's nothing that I necessarily have to go get. I could use a package of meat or something, but you know, neither here nor there on that either. I will be okay. I'll have something to eat. You know, I've got something to tide me over and hopefully I get paid tomorrow uh, that's never a guarantee either I, I think people should understand that <laughs> uh, just because you might be on a like some people like I realize that this uh, disability check I get is from a source that's not reliable you know the government uh, and that the way things are going I suspect that we all are probably going to be in some dire needs uh, soon uh, hopefully w with our faith and um, the help of the divine we can truck through it you know get through it I know I will I'll be alright even if it seems like the worst time in my life trust me I've had worse my mother being murdered years ago <laughs> let's just say that was pretty bad still unsolved I want to share that with you it, I've shared it once or twice, I think. Yeah, my mom died in 2002, September 30th. It was an arson house fire. Imagine that. And imagine that for three months, things were held up, and I kind of wondered what was going on. Turned out they wanted to suspect me. I've never been arrested for any kind of violent crime. I've had some misdemeanor drug charges like marijuana and a DUI in my life and a few public drunks, but nothing, you know. I did used to have a temper, 
but most of my temper was just me breaking stuff or punching a wall and screaming out a bunch of cuss words. It wasn't like acting out towards really physically towards another person. Uh, I've literally let somebody beat me down before and not even fall back. And they were, you know, there was a couple of them. It was two guys and a girl. I was just trying to get away. And they really had no actual justification for doing anything to me. But um, funny thing is that a few years later, I was even able to talk to one of the guys that was involved in that and actually hang out in his, the same space with him. Didn't mean I actually trusted him. And I was aware of what could happen at any given time because of what he had done before. But because I was aware of that, it wasn't gonna. It was not gonna happen again. Uh, you know. But uh, let's get. Uh, just uh, keep me in your thoughts. Uh, send me some positive energy. I sending it back your way. And uh, till next time, Mr. Cloud says the eternal moment. Over and out. Oh, uh, before I tell you the last thing I usually say, please hit the like button on this video. I, I would appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this video, think about subscribing. Maybe today I'll get something done with some toys. That's what I plan on doing. Uh, I'm going to make Tuesdays and Thursdays my days to hopefully do some toy work, action figure work, and maybe a little video later of what I might have done. It's getting a little long here. It's going to take a minute to upload, but you know the deal. Ditto.